Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be making for you a chicken pina colada. It's actually chicken coconut uh, cooked in the coconut cream, but I've added pineapples because I first created this recipe when I used to work at the Fairmont Hotel. And it was actually made for the staff. And after they tasted it, I was their favorite chef. Okay, so the ingredients we're going to use are chicken legs and thighs. I didn't disconnect them, they're attached. Uh, we're going to make a basic velouté. Uh, which is, you know, is chicken stock. You add a roux to thicken it up. And then we're going to infuse some coconut powder in it to get that coconut flavor going on. Also, I'm using about a cup and a half to two cups of pineapple chunks. Garlic. About a one medium onion, dice or either julienne. I have like a salt and pepper mixture right here. I have some red pepper flakes. I have a tablespoon of butter. And I have some pineapple um, liqueur, this to boost up the flavor. The alcohol will burn off as I cook it, but uh, I have this liqueur, this to boost up the flavors a little bit. So, uh, we're going to put our chicken and this seared on both sides, just a little bit, especially for the color on the skin. All right? And this is all going to, after we sear it, uh, we're going to put it in the oven and let it bake with all our ingredients once we make up our velouté with coconut milk. So let's get this started. One thing to know that you have, the chicken needs to have room, any kind of meat. So if you got more meat than you have room, then do it in batches. So I got six pieces of our chicken here, and only four fit in there. So after those four are done, I'll put the last two in and do will make our velouté roux. The color of the chicken for what I was looking for. As you can see, it has a nice little golden brown there on the skin side. I'm going to cook it a little bit on the meat side. And then we have two remaining pieces of chicken. Uh, now we're going to make our velouté, our sauce, our coconut sauce. And then we're going to put the chicken back in there once we make the sauce. Put a lid on it, bake it in the oven for about an hour or an hour and a half. We're going to add our onions first and our garlic. I'm going to add some butter. And then we'll stir that around a little bit. Just kind of want to release the aromatics for a second. Since it's just a velouté, you don't. We're not going to uh, cook the roux too too dark. We're going to make a white roux. Add our flour now to make our roux our white roux. That was about an ounce of flour. Like I said, we just want to get the that floury taste off the our flour. We're not going to brown this. Now we're going to take our liqueur, put that in there. Have to be careful because it. Woo! Because, as you can see, the flame up. <laughs> well, that was quite fun. <laughs> and I stop. Chicken stop. Okay, this is uh, four cups of chicken stock, which we already added the, uh, we made a small roux with the onions and the garlic. Now I'm about to infuse the coconut milk in there. It should change the color slightly. Like I was saying, when you add alcohol to a hot pan, you really need to be aware that it could flame up, which I don't know if she caught that on film, it did pop up and flame up. But there's only a little bit of uh, alcohol, so it wasn't a big flame. Just don't get scared and, and start throwing stuff. Okay, well, I'm going to add the coconut milk now. Probably should have used a whisk for Because it would take... It just cuts off the time. This will break down, of course. So you can really break down the powder coconut milk. Now, of course, if you're using a canned coconut milk, it's no problem. It so happened I used a package of coconut powder. Not sweetened, by the way, either. 
You don't get enough sweetness coming off the pineapples. And that should be it. And now I'm going to add some pepper flakes. Say about a good pinch. Incorporate those in there. You want to check our flavors. Mmm, really good. Add a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay. Now we're going to put in our chicken. Skin side up. Just go ahead and pack them in there like a jigsaw puzzle. It should all fit in there. The chicken should shrink about uh, 15 to 20 percent. Now we're going to add our pineapples all around, kind of spread them out. Mmm. These are fresh pineapples. We are, you know, we bought like three pineapples. We cut them up and I froze them. Okay, so now that I got everything inside the pot, I'm gonna put a lid on it and I'm gonna place this uh, in the oven, 325, 350 oven, for about an hour and a half. Uh, it should bake and then it should be, it will get even thicker than the uh, sauce will. And then it'll be ready to serve. You serve this over any kind of starch you want. We're gonna serve it over white rice. Uh, I think that kind of fits it better, you know, that you can uh, salad or some kind of steamed vegetable. So it's been an hour and a half, so we're going to take it out. It should be finished. Remember, we're cooking uh, chicken pina colada. Ah, look at that. So there it is, chicken pina colada. You see the, the uh, pineapple has kind of shrunken down, the chicken has. We have a real thick sauce. As you can see the chicken is real nice and tender. And the coconut sauce and our chicken. Man, it looks good. This is a quick and easy dish. You can serve it with white rice or brown rice or whatever you want, whatever starch that you want. And, and some type of vegetables, you know, broccoli, carrots, even string beans. So this is a simple and easy dish. You know, you just, not that many ingredients, easy to cook, bake it, finish it off in the oven. So thanks for tuning in and watching us as we made this dish. We'll see you next time. Until then, bye-bye.